In recent times, a series of groundbreaking events in astronomy have been announced one after another, shaking humanity's understanding of the universe and Earth once again. First, scientists unveiled the largest ever 3D map of the universe to date, created using the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument. This map records nearly 18.7 million celestial objects, including 4 million stars and tens of millions of galaxies, allowing us to peer deep into the past, up to 11 billion years ago. Although DESI's main goal is to study dark energy, the mysterious force accelerating the universe's expansion, still, its data also helps scientists understand more about galaxy evolution and the structure of black holes. The map is expected to keep expanding, growing tenfold every decade, unveiling an even grander picture of the vast cosmos. Remarkably, during data analysis, scientists unexpectedly discovered that dark energy is weakening, contradicting the previous theory that it was constant. Dark energy continues to decline. A reversal scenario could unfold. The universe would stop expanding and begin contracting, entering what's known as the Big Crunch, then start a new cycle all over again. This could fundamentally change our entire understanding of the universe's destiny. But that's not all. NASA's Parker Solar Probe continued to astonish as it approached the surface of the Sun to just 3.7 million miles away, traveling at speeds of up to 435,000 miles per hour, fast enough to cross all of China in 20 seconds. The probe is shielded by a thermal barrier 4.3 inches thick, made of carbon composite material, capable of withstanding temperatures up to 2,550 degrees Fahrenheit. It carries four specialized instruments to decode the sun's greatest mysteries, the corona and solar winds. In another discovery from the moon, the largest impact crater on the lunar surface, Aitken Basin, the diameter over 1,550 miles, has finally been confirmed to be 4.25 billion years old. Thanks to analysis of rock samples brought back by China's Chang'e 6 mission, this finding supports the theory that the moon once went through a period of intense asteroid bombardment just a few hundred million years after the solar system formed. Finally, new research also reveals the likely cause of mass extinction events in Earth's history, such as during the late Devonian and Ordovician periods, was ozone layer depletion, coinciding with the timing of nearby supernova explosions. Radiation from those blasts may have penetrated the atmosphere and destroyed Earth's protective ozone layer, leaving Earth exposed to deadly ultraviolet radiation. However, with supergiant stars like Betelgeuse and Orion, even if it goes supernova in the near future, its distance is far enough to ensure humanity has nothing to fear from extinction threats.